guys, so I am creating my own press on nails. I'm so excited and apologies for the lighting and the camera. I'm actually using my phone right now because my camera is upstairs on charge. Also, please excuse my makeup. I have been rubbing my face because my eyes are so itchy at the moment from hay fever. But yeah, let's get back to the point. I am creating my own press on nails. I'm so excited to share with you. I thought I would just vlog the process basically in case there is anyone out there that wants to create their own press on nails for themselves, for their clients or for anyone really. So I thought I'd vlog the process. It's actually a little bit of a team effort. Me and my mum are working on this together, which is really nice. Um, most of you guys will know that my mum actually works in the salon with me. She is a hairdresser. So currently she has got no form of income. So I thought it would be something that we could work on together and we could share the responsibilities for. Obviously I'm gonna do all the nail art and the designing and she's gonna help me out with posting and packing orders and doing all the stickers and that kind of thing. So it's going to be a little bit of a mother-daughter collaborative project, which is really fun and it's just something that we can do together and spend a bit of time on, which is really nice too. But yeah, I'm definitely not the first one to do this. There are hundreds and thousands of amazing nail techs out there that are creating some press on nails, which is awesome. So please enjoy. I'm not sure how much I'm going to be on here chatting or whatever I've been trying to film little clips of the process but it's currently the 14th of May and my goal is to have them ready to launch at the end of May I don't know when you guys will be seeing this video but yeah I'm excited that's going to go on the inside of the box here which is really nice it's got a little quote on it everything you can imagine is real Pablo Picasso so that's really nice um I really wanted to put a quote on it so that's going to go on the inside of the box and obviously these stickers go on the top so that's going to get stuck on the inside and then I've also created some application and removal instructions and then I've decided, I think, instead of using these business cards to put the sets of nails on, I was going to do like left hand and right hand. I'm going to put them all on a big sheet like this. Um, not 100% yet. I mean, my lovely mother, Teresa, has been very busy and has cut out a load of them already to use like this. So I probably will use them for that. So we've got all our boxes that mum very kindly folded all of them up ready to go and we've got all our bits and bobs these are a few extra double length boxes in case people order two sets of press-ons so i've got a few of them but all the boxes are folded well done teresa so now we need to stick all the stickers on so i've made these stickers and mum cut and corner cut them all out and these ones here so the way they're going to go is one's going to go on the front and then one's going to go on the inside like that so we want to get all that done and ready to go these few here have already got stickers on the front i don't think they've got any on the inside no they haven't so we need to get on and do all of these boxes so yeah i'm gonna do a little bit of a time lapse
so far created these guys here ready to get cracking with another design these guys here need to be boarded boarded up put onto these cards so these ones are done so I did all of these ones today and tonight it's currently actually quarter to two in the morning it's taken me about 14 hours to do these ones but I think they look pretty cool so yeah these guys here will be packaged up onto their little cards and my lovely mother will be doing that tomorrow that is one of her jobs to do this is the progress so far what we've built up I'm basically doing six different nail shapes so long square short square long round short round short coffin and almond and um, they're the shapes and i'm basically doing one of each of the designs and then i think then i'm bordering them up i think i'm going to do around six to nine designs depending because it takes a long time i'm working hard on some building them up and mum preps all the nails for me so that's her job is filing and buffing all the nails and then putting them on their cards like this and then I do all the nails and the nail art and all that kind of thing. So yeah, got um, lots still to do, but the first two designs are done, which is cool. So an exciting delivery arrived today. I ordered 60 of these eco-friendly cotton bags from Amazon. I'll make sure I leave all links to things that I mentioned in the description box down below for you guys as well. So I ordered a ton of these because basically I want to make up a little pouch for the application kit. So you get a buffer, a file, um, a, a little wooden cuticle push stick, some alcohol wipes, the nail glue, and then also some little nail tabs to stick them on if you want them more temporary. So I wanted to put them all in here and create kind of like little kit. And then I ordered these here. They are little tags with like love hearts in. I thought I'd jazz them up a bit. So I thought I'd give you a little like prototyping of how the packaging is coming along. So still keeping the same box with the tissue paper and the thank you tab. Then you get of course the lovely nails on the top and then underneath you get your little application kit and I think on here I'm going to either write application kit or print out a cute little sticker and stick it on there so all of the bits and bobs are in this little pouch and I just think it looks so much nicer than having them like all laying loose in the bottom and like it's all like moving around when I was kind of testing for durability for when it's shipping in the post whereas by having that in there like that and then this over the top it keeps it all nice and tight together so when it's closed up it doesn't move around at all so i thought that that was probably the best thing to do and i also think it looks so much cuter as well so yeah that is the really finalized packaging i'm really happy with that so now me and my lovely mother have got to make up all the little kits i've got the drawer down here that is full of everything that we will be putting in the kit the glues, the little push sticks, nail files, the little sticker sheets, buffers and then the alcohol wipes. So we need to make up all of these.
So it looked too much like LV Emma 3. So I've edited it so that it looks like a cute little love heart. So I'm just gonna print this off now, um, reprint it. Luckily I've got five sheets, so that's okay. Print, print, print. Need to refill my ink as well. Oh my gosh, fabulous. stickers on the little kits i'm so happy with how they turned out i think they're really cute so these little bags pretty much everything was from amazon like these gift tags these um little bags they're all from amazon i'll try and remember to put all the links in the description box down below but i wanted to keep everything as eco-friendly and recyclable as i possibly could got enough waste in this world so i didn't really want to add more and um, so where i could i um, have opted for eco-friendly and recyclable items so these little cotton bags are actually eco-friendly 100 percent cotton and obviously these card and i've got my little cute stickers on them so the drawer is now full so i am stocked up and ready to go for more and what i've done is i have popped in here all the nails that have currently been done my mum is currently putting the new design on their backing cards so they're currently being done in the other room as we speak but yeah these are all the designs so far so we've got the rainbow skies the gold flakes the oyster shell nails and then we've got the rose quartz the marbly one and the white opal and then in the other room it's currently the sunset recall design and then i've got one more design to go and then i will have finished creating them all i really ideally wanted to create eight different designs but honestly this is taking so much longer than i thought it would i knew these are time consuming but honestly we've been working on these for almost a month now and this is how many i've made obviously it's not just this i've been working on it's the packaging and all that kind of thing so what i've decided to do on all the backs of all of the nails i have written out a little label saying what they are and what shape they are so rainbow sky short round just so it makes it easier when we're packaging orders i also created the application cards so i originally had them printed on these little sheets of paper and i just didn't like they're thin and flimsy and i needed to make a couple of adjustments i wish to add a little bit more depth in the instructions so i went back and edited it and i printed it out on the same card that the nails are on so it all kind of matches together really nicely and then i'm just using this corner cutter which is what i've used to make all my stickers as well for the, the outer packaging, I printed it off on sticker paper and then I've corner cut the edges. That's from Amazon as well. Pretty much everything's from Amazon. So they originally looked like that and now they look like this. And I think it just looks so much nicer, a bit more high quality. And obviously it matches that. So yeah, things are almost ready. I've got one more design to create, which I'm hopefully gonna get done today. And then I'm gonna decide on the launch date. So all of these, need to be corner cut i need to finish sticking all the stickers on the backs of these guys and i need to finish the next design
Right, all of the nails are live up on the website. It is now actually the evening of Sunday the 7th of June. So the nails went live at 10 a.m. So I am gonna be packing some of the orders that I've got through today. So I've printed them all off. They're all here, ready to be shipped out. And what I've done is I've just laid out all the nails along the side here and then up here. I've got my little recyclable stickers for going on the mailers application kits my Isabel May nail stickers little bin area they're just a couple of boxes I had out but all the rest of the boxes are in here as you guys have already seen and then all my application kits and everything I need are in these drawers as well as in here I've got my little thank you stickers then this has all my tissue paper and everything like that so I've got everything to hand I've got my orders so I'm going to start laying it all out getting everyone's orders packed and yeah from today because I'm going to send out the first batch tomorrow i will leave a link in the description box down below if any of these guys are still in stock on the website at the time that i do upload this video so definitely check the description out if you want to get yourself a set but yeah i've got my different size boxes and i just need to get cracking really get through a bunch of these orders Most of the orders are packed from tonight now. There's only one more that I need to get packed, ready to deliver tomorrow. And then I'll start working on tomorrow's orders after I've sent them in the post office. But they are all done. So they are all going to be shipped out tomorrow. So I just need to put them in a bag and then they can go to the post office. Hey guys, so I just wanted to quickly jump on. Sorry, I'm on my phone, so it feels a bit weird. I actually don't know where the camera is, it's there. Um, I just wanted to quickly jump on and say, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you guys out in some way. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.